And that tragic story had us thinking about the dangers we face every time you go outside, especially in our beautiful state. Well, Denver 7's Russell Haythorn reminding us tonight that encounters with wildlife don't just happen in the mountains, Russell. Yeah, and experts say because of urban encroachment, those wildlife encounters are becoming more and more common, even in places you might least expect, like here along the Cherry Creek. I grew up in this state. I've seen these encounters firsthand. Experts say we can all be more aware of our environment. Just yesterday, Denver 7 photographer Jacob Curtis encountering this fox while on assignment. Whether it's Florida or Colorado, uh, wildlife are, you know, all around us. Up at the Chief Hosa campground. Looking for animals uh, and keeping the girls closer. For the Briggle family, the Florida attack is certainly top of mind. The spot we go, there's always moose coming through. Something we're practicing with the girls, keeping them close. Although wildlife attacks are rare, they do happen. Since 2010, there have been four fatal black bear attacks in the U.S. and eight fatal grizzly bear attacks, five of those in neighboring Wyoming. The last fatal bear attack in Colorado was in 2009. Donna Munson in Uray, Colorado, mauled while trying to feed a bear. There have only been two fatal mountain lion attacks in the U.S. since 2004. Um, you know, it is a you know, very unfortunate circumstance when we do have attacks um, that happen, whether it's adults or kids. Parks and Wildlife District Manager Justin Olson reminding all of us wildlife are unpredictable. You definitely don't want to provide any food if you're camping. Should an animal approach you, what you generally want to do is make yourself look real big, uh, make a lot of loud noises. Since 1991, there have been three fatal mountain lion attacks in Colorado. An 18-year-old boy killed while jogging in Idaho Springs. A 10-year-old boy killed while hiking with his parents in Rocky Mountain National Park. And a three-year-old boy's remains found in Poudre Canyon outside of Fort Collins. Again, while these are rare, they do happen. We're live tonight. Russell Haythorn, Denver 7.